Hi everyone, welcome to your hot mess yoga class. We have uh, my familiar joining us today. This is Waffles. Hi baby. Uh, today's class is an all levels class. So I'll give you ways to advance some poses. I'll give you ways to back out of some poses. No props needed today unless you want them. So let's get started. Come into child's pose. Big toes together, knees nice and wide. Lower your forehead down towards your mat. And straighten your arms out long in front of you. Take a deep breath in. And a big open mouth exhale. Let's do that again, a nice long, full, deep breath in. Open mouth release. Let the weight of your hips sink deeper down towards your heels. Relax your shoulders down your back. Press your palms comfortably into the floor. Concentrate on the length and the depth of your inhales, letting them match your exhales. Take one more deep breath. Begin to lift your elbows off the mat. Spider crawl your hands towards the top right corner of your mat. And if you'd like a little bit more shoulder engagement, crisscross your left wrist to stack right on top of your right. Realign both armpits to stay even with each other. Feel your sits bones pushing back to the wall behind you but allow your left low ribs to pull up and away from your hip, creating more space between where your hip and ribs come together. Keep the grip into your fingers as you glide your shoulders deeper down your spine. And inhale, start to lift back up. And exhale, take it over to the other side. Walk your hands towards the top left corner and if you did so on the other side, this time crisscross your right wrist on top of your left. Rotate your right armpit downward in line with your left. Feel your shoulders continue to pull their way down towards your hips. And balance out, this time feeling your sits bones pulling back to the wall as you allow your right ribs to stretch further away from your right hip crease. Stay even with your breath. Notice how everything is starting to feel on your mat today. On your next inhale, begin to lift yourself back up and come back into your child's pose. Push some weight into your palms, hinge forward and make your way into a tabletop position. Start with your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. Feel free to roll your hips side to side, roll out your neck, some gentle movements to get you started. And if you would like today, we can play with some cat cows. So inhale, dropping your belly, looking up. And on an exhale, round your spine up towards the ceiling. But go at your own pace. And as you do so, press down into your shins. Squeeze your armpit muscles in tight and ensure that it is indeed breath to movement. And begin to transition your way back into your neutral tabletop. Let's take some time to warm up your back muscles. Straighten your right leg back behind you and lift your heel up in line with your hip. Reach your left arm forward. Aim for your bicep to be in line with your ears and begin to pulse your right leg and your left arm up and down towards the ceiling. Now be mindful here, you're not trying to whack into your low back. Stabilize into your left shin, squeeze your tricep in, and begin to lower back down. If it feels comfortable, roll out your right wrist, flip the top of your right hand onto the mat for an extra deep stretch. Let's take this onto the other side. Extend your left leg back behind you. Lift your right arm forward so that your arm is in line with your ear, your heel with your hip 
and find those same little pulses up and down with your left leg and your right arm. Stabilize your outer right hip muscle in tight to your hip bone. Firm your left armpit muscle in tight to your ribs. Keep pushing up through your chest and lower everything back down. And if need be, roll out your left wrist. Wiggle your fingers, little Disney princess wave with your wrist, whatever feels good for you right now. And then bring this back into your tabletop. Start to walk your hands forward and come down for puppy dog pose, keeping your hips over your knees like you're still in a tabletop position. Lower either your forehead, your chin, or your chest to touch down towards the mat. Roll your inner thighs to squeeze back to the wall behind you. Keep working your shoulders down your back. And if your forehead is on the mat, aim to try to get your chin onto the mat. And if your chin was originally on the mat, aim to get your chest onto the mat. But if your chest is on the mat, congratulations, you won yoga, you don't need me anymore. Turn off the video and go about your day. Please don't do that, I need this job. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And begin to walk your hands back into your tabletop position. Swing your legs around in front of you and just take a comfortable seat. I'll be facing you so that way you can see what we're working on here. Inhale, begin to lift your right arm up and overhead. Place your right hand onto your left temple and use your hand to drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Now, if you want even more into the next stretch, extend your left arm, aim your fingertips to either touch to the floor or if you have a block handy, that also works. Something to pay attention to though, while you're stretching out your neck, keep your core nice and engaged, pinch your bottom ribs in together. And that will allow the stretch to stay focused in your neck without asking your low back to do anything that it doesn't need to right now. Begin to tuck your chin down towards your chest like your right armpit has a little bit of a secret and you're trying to hear it. Continue to feel your left temple though pushing into your palm. Take some tension out of your jaw. Begin to lift back up, release your hand down to the mat. Take some gentle neck rolls from shoulder to shoulder. Let's switch you out, lift your left arm up and overhead. Use your hand to drop your left ear down towards your shoulder. Keep working your right temple into your palm. If you did so on the other side, bring your right fingertips onto the mat. Feel the length all the way through the right side of your neck. Relax your jaw. From here, you'll start to slowly roll your chin towards your chest. This time, imagine that your left armpit now has a little secret just for your ears. You find that little extra push of your right temple into your palm. Let go of your head. And once again, some gentle neck rolls right and left. If it feels comfortable, you can place your hands onto your knees to safely tilt your gaze back to the wall behind you. And when everything starts to feel balanced out, come back into your tabletop position. From your tabletop though, walk your hands another palm print forward, curl your toes to tuck underneath you, exhale, down dog, send your hips up to the ceiling, Always the option to pedal out your legs, bend your elbows, shake your head, swing your heels right and left. It's whatever feels good for you. Hunker down into your finger pads. Feel your upper arm bones pulling back and in towards your hips. Look back at your feet and spin your heels to hide behind your toes. Take a breath. Let your exhale create stability in through your body. Breathe in. Exhale, ragdoll. 
tiptoe your feet behind your wrists. And when you get to the top, some yogi's choice to get you started, but I recommend bending your knees and grabbing for opposite elbows. You can gently rock your chest right and left. The deeper you bend your knees, the more of a low back stretch you'll get. If you straighten your legs, you'll get into some hamstrings. If you really want to stretch out your low back, interlace your hands at the nape of your neck. Start to come back into a static position. Left hand is your base. Inhale, easy twist. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Now prioritize the expansion in your chest. So feel your hips pushing back to the wall. Extend your ribs up and away from your hips. Draw your shoulder blades in tight. And if it's comfortable, look up. Drop your right hand down and switch it out. Inhale, easy twist. Lift your left arm up and overhead. Draw your shoulder blades in. You can tent up your right fingers. You can place your right hand onto your shin. Whatever it is to help open your left collarbone back over your shoulder area. Take a breath and release down. If it's comfortable, toe heel your feet together. If not, keep your feet hip width. Bend your knees and with a very heavy head, do your best theater kid by rolling up one vertebra at a time. And when you get to the top, circle shrug your shoulders down your back. Gather your hands to your heart. If it feels natural, close your eyes. But take a moment, focus on your why, your intention. What is bringing you to your mat today? begin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Drop your arms. Inhale mountain. Lift your arms up and overhead. Drill your heels to the floor to feel your thigh bones pull up towards your hips. Same with your rib cage. Feel your ribs lifting up as you feel your shoulder blades pulling down. A couple options. Either grab for your left wrist or bend your left elbow, plant your palm between your shoulders, and hold on to your left elbow with your right palm. Take a breath. Exhale, side bend to the right. Feel your right rib cage pushing down towards your hip. Allow your left side to stretch up. Inhale, mountain reach up. Exhale, side bend to the left, either holding onto your wrist or bend your right elbow and plant your palm between your shoulder blades. As you're in this side bend though, work your low belly to push back and in towards your low spine. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, waterfall back bend. Drop your arms. Turn your palms out. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Team, think alien abduction with your chest. Magnetize your shoulder blades together. Lift your chin up. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Open your arms out to a T-shape, glide your head down. Squeeze your glutes, inhale, halfway lift. Plant your palms to either your shins or your thighs, whatever it takes to get your shoulders to touch. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your palms and step back into a high plank. Hinge forward, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, peel your chin up. Exhale, down dog, squeeze through your low belly. Inhale, send your chest back towards your shins. Exhale, forward fold, begin to travel to the top of your mat. Feet together, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain, either hold on to your left wrist or start to bend your left elbow. Exhale, side bend to the right. Squeeze your rib cage muscles in tight to support you. Inhale, mountain. Start to switch out your grip. And exhale, side bend to the left. Keep working your right shoulder blade down your spine. Inhale, mountain. Lengthen your ribs up from your hips. Exhale, waterfall back bend proud in your chest. Inhale, mountain, scoop your arms back up. 
exhale, swan dive, glide your head down to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, tabletop your back. Exhale, chaturanga, hinge forward, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog, float your knees. Exhale, down dog. One more time, inhale, stretch your chest towards your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain, dig into your heels, come all the way up. Exhale, side bend to the right, either holding onto your wrist or elbow. Inhale, lift back up, switch it out. Exhale, take it up and over to the left. Inhale, mountain, stabilize your leg muscles. Exhale, waterfall back, bend, turn your palms out. Inhale, mountain, flatten your low back. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Think halfway lift as you're coming into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, point your toes. Exhale, down dog, send it back. Take a moment, reconnect with your breath. And now that you've been able to move around a little bit, see how you're feeling because big mood change. Inhale, high plank, hinge forward. Exhale, forearm plank, drop down onto your elbows, creating the number 11 with your arms. Lift your right heel up towards the ceiling, and for extra stability, you can interlace your fingers. Breathe in. Exhale, kick your heel in towards your glute. Inhale, right leg straightens. Exhale, heel to glute. Now, if at any point, keep going, but if at any point you need to drop your left knee onto the floor for extra support, go ahead and do so. You are here, you are working it though. Push down into your wrists, squeeze your elbows back towards the wall, but feel your leg bones pulling up towards your hips. Almost done. Drop down to your knees, take a seat. Feel free to wiggle out your hips, roll out your wrists, tell yourself you can do this, and then come back into your forearm plank. Option again to interlace your hands or the number 11 with your arms. Begin to hover your left heel up in line with your sits bone. Exhale, kick in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, heel to glute. Fire up your right quadricep. Keep your sits bones roughly in line with your shoulder heads. Like a proud little turtle though, keep pulling your chest forward and away from your shell. Almost out of this. Firm your armpit muscles in tight. Keep going, last two. One more full kick in towards your glute. Woo! -hoo. Drop down. Oh my god. I understand. Just so you know, before we shot this, I had a whole bunch of cheese. So that was great for me. Smart move. I'm an adult. Begin to recline down onto your back and we'll get set up for some belly up core. Once your shoulders touch the ground, Start to walk your feet in closer together so that the soles of your feet can touch for Supta Baddha Konasana sit-ups. Tilt your business section, wink wink, upwards towards the ceiling so that your low back is as flat as possible to your mat. From here, then begin to create the basket grip around the nape of your neck. Take a deep breath in to prepare. Exhale, begin to lift your shoulder blades off the mat. Inhale to take you down. Exhale to lift you up. Keep it going. Smash your feet together. Drive your belly button down and in towards your low back. Open your elbows out wide. And almost like what we're doing with that waterfall back bend, keep thinking up with your chin and chest instead of rounding too far forward towards your hips. That will get into your low belly even more. Almost done with these elbows, nice and wide. Keep your hips grounded to the floor. Take a couple more. Exhale to lift. Hold here and begin to take tiny baby pulses, arms up towards the ceiling. Use your low belly to lift your shoulders. Keep going, almost done for three, two, one. <laughs> I don't like this either. Take a counter stretch of your choice and we'll get you set up for a figure four around the world. So bend your knees and you'll place your right ankle onto your left quad. 
keeping your low back glued to the floor. From there, hands go around the nape of your neck. Now, like a regular figure four twist, you'll cross your left elbow towards your right knee, but after you hold here, roll to your right armpit, left shoulder. All right, here we go. Exhale, lift, twist to your knee, back to your right shoulder, back to your left shoulder, lower down. Exhale, twist, roll to your right shoulder, left shoulder, drop it down. Lift, twist, roll, roll, keep it going. Lift, twist to your knee, to your shoulder, to your left shoulder, drop. Keep that going and as you do so, glue your right ankle into your quad and feel your left heel tugging in towards your sits bones. Tighten your glutes, cross, right shoulder, left shoulder, drop two more. Exhale, lift, twist, roll to your right shoulder, left shoulder, drop it down. Final one, brace your ankle into your quad for that final bit of stability. Lower down, don't overthink it. Start to switch out your ankles. Low back nice and flat, breathe in. Exhale, twist to your left knee, roll to your left shoulder, right shoulder, drop it down. Exhale, twist to the left, left shoulder, right shoulder, drop down. Now, here's the thing. I am a little bit stronger on this side, so you can also start to make this more of a swirly effect with that round the world instead of the static that we've been working on. So if you wanna make that one fluid motion, go ahead, so long as you're still feeling the challenge in throughout your obliques as you roll. Keep twisting up to your knee, left shoulder, right shoulder, drop it down. Firm your sits bones in towards the fleshiest part of your glutes. Take two more. Lift, twist, shoulder, shoulder. Last one, lift, twist, shoulder, shoulder. Shut it down. Take a moment, recenter your breath. But when you are ready, knees into your chest, rock and roll the length of your spine, crisscross at your ankles, and let's go through a chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You are prepped and ready to go for our sun bee. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, relax it out. Gaze forward and begin to walk to the top of your mat, feet together, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, squat down. Now, today we're gonna really work on strength training. Place your hands to your knees or your shins. Use your hands to push your knees back so that when you look down, you see the tops of your feet. Check in with your low back. Plant your hands to your low spine and ensure that you don't have a big arch. Once you feel your knees are over your heels, your low back is as straight as it's going to get. Reach your arms up and overhead. Glide your shoulders down your spine. Focus, breathe, exhale. Interlace your hands behind you at your low back. Shrug your shoulders down. Punch your knuckles down towards your heels. Inhale, hover your heels off the floor. Now option one, stay right here. Roll the weight into your big toes. Option two, diver's pose. Any amount, straighten your legs. Any amount, drop your chest down towards your shins. Keep your knuckles floating away from your low back. Glue your ankles together. Feel your hamstrings tighten and engage to support you. Explore, keep your hands in this bind. Inhale, bound mountain pose. Heels down, chin up knuckles punching down towards your heels keep your hands take a breath in exhale forward fold with this bind bend your elbows a little bit to ensure that you don't have hyperextension release your arms down inhale halfway lift exhale chaturanga lower halfway down inhale upward facing exhale down dog inhale launch your right leg up towards the ceiling Exhale, low lunge. Travel your right foot between your hands, aiming for your toes and fingertips to line up. 
Take a second, feel your right hip shift to the back left corner. Start to power up your pose. Hover your hands two inches off the floor. Right, feel how that changes your back leg muscles and your back muscles firm and through your core. Inhale, warrior two. Keep all of that work that you just created in that floating low lunge. Take a second, ground down into your heels. Draw your shoulder blades in tight and imagine your arms are like bookshelves. Balance, be level. Steady your gaze over your front fingertips. Hold and breathe. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. But today we're gonna jazz it up. Place your right elbow onto your right thigh. Now use that to your advantage. Push your elbow into your leg to feel your torso lift further up from your thigh. Draw your shoulder blades in tight. Gaze any amount up towards your hand. Inhale, reverse warrior. Now deepen the lunge into your front leg. Feel your right hip pull up and away from your right thigh bone. Reach your top arm up and overhead. Breathe and keep reaching on back. Exhale, start to cartwheel your arms overhead, low lunge. Turn your right sits bone towards your left inner ankle. Inhale, crescent, high lunge. Float your arms up and overhead. Deepen down into your right sits bone to allow your left hip to float up. Take a long breath in, arms back towards your ears. Exhale, goddess back bend. Goal post your arms. Lunge a little deeper into your right knee while still feeling the back of your left knee pushing up towards the ceiling. Tighten your shoulder blades together. Pull your chin up towards the ceiling. Inhale, crescent, reach right back up. Exhale, hinge forward 45 degrees, reaching crescent. You can always place your hands onto your right knee for extra support. Wherever you're at though, round your low spine like you are in cat pose. Aim your arms in line with your ears. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, chaturanga, reach forward. Plant your hands down, lower halfway down to the floor. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Take a second. Feel all of that extra activation in your back muscles today. When you're ready, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Take a second, find this. Push your left sits bone deep into the flesh and begin to hover your hands two inches off the floor. Float your belly off your thigh. Keep all of this work in your body as we start to prepare for warrior two. Inhale, windmill your arms up and overhead. Hunker down into your heels. Shoulder blades tighten, but stay loose and relaxed in your chest. Gaze over your front fingertips. Visualize that strength pulsing all through your body. As your breath keeps you steady, grounded, focused on what you are working on. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Today, bend your left elbow, place it onto your thigh. Use that shelf of your thigh to lift your torso further up and away from your leg. Squeeze your left armpit muscle in tight towards your rib cage. Gaze up if it's comfortable. However, keep that deep lunge into your left knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Glide your left arm up and overhead. Anchor your right inner thigh downward towards your left heel to help prop your left hip and left ribs pulling up and away from your left thigh bone. Breathe easy. Reach an extra inch back and exhale, cartwheel down, low lunge. Feel your left sits bone tugging deep into the flesh. Inhale, crescent, high lunge, float your arms up and overhead. Send your left thigh bone to push over into your left IT band. Glide your shoulders down, take a breath. Exhale, goddess back bend, goal post your arms. Keep pushing forward into your left shin, but feel the front of your hips rolling back to the wall behind you. 
inhale crescent arms stay straight exhale reaching crescent tip forward again you can place your hands onto your left thigh to help prop your belly off your leg if comfortable though extend your arms forward still feel the back of your right knee pushing up towards the ceiling inhale crescent exhale chaturanga reach forward as you lower down inhale upward facing point your toes exhale down dog great job everybody breathe in breathe out remember why you are here today inhale stretch your chest towards your shins and exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale fold forward inhale chair push your knees back over your heels exhale interlace your hands behind you inhale lift your heels off the floor option to stay or exhale divers pose straighten your legs lower your head give this a breath keep your hands in this bind drop your heels down to the floor inhale bound mountain pose look up keep the arms exhale bound forward fold let go of your hands inhale halfway lift exhale chaturanga remember you can skip these you can do a double push-up you can drop down to your knees inhale up exhale down dog grip into your fingers inhale lift your right leg high exhale low lunge pause hover your hands off the mat good inhale warrior two windmill your arms open exhale extended side angle elbow to your thigh lift your rib cage higher inhale reverse warrior glide deep into your front knee exhale cartwheel your arms low lunge inhale crescent dig down into your right sits bone exhale goddess back bend pull your chin and chest up proud inhale crescent straighten and lengthen through your fingers exhale reaching crescent flatten your low back inhale lift right back up exhale chaturanga hinge forward lower down firm your outer hip muscles as you lower to the mat inhale upward facing lift your knees and chest exhale down dog inhale kick your left leg up to the ceiling exhale low lunge hover your hands up dog your chest belly off your thighs inhale warrior two twist open exhale extended side angle feel yourself getting stronger with each breath inhale reverse warrior push your right inner thigh down towards your front heel exhale cartwheel down low lunge inhale crescent dig your left heel deep into the mat exhale goddess back bend inhale crescent keep your spine relatively straight exhale reaching crescent tip forward inhale lift and lean back exhale chaturanga palms down straighten your legs lower halfway down inhale upward facing dog exhale down dog one more full set inhale send your chest back towards your shins exhale forward fold step or hop or float to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift exhale fold forward inhale chair commit to your growth exhale interlace your hands behind you inhale lift your heels off the mat either hold here or exhale divers pose take your time glue your ankles together lift your knuckles up and overhead begin to drop your heels inhale bound mountain pose gaze up exhale bound forward fold release your hands inhale halfway lift exhale chaturanga keep checking in with yourself how do you feel do you need to skip anything see you guys in down dog inhale lift your right leg up exhale low lunge travel in inhale hover your hands shoulders down start to get rid of your breath inhale warrior two stretch out exhale extended side angle elbow to thigh 
Inhale, reverse warrior, relax your shoulders down. Exhale, cartwheel down, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, lunge deep. Exhale, goddess, back bend, firm your left leg. Inhale, crescent, keep this. Exhale, reaching crescent, tip forward. Inhale, tip back up. Exhale, chaturanga. Last full set here, keep it going. Remember why you chose to take class. Inhale, start to lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Hover your hands, chest proud. Get rid of your air. Inhale, warrior two, lengthen through your fingers. Exhale, extended side angle, squeeze your heels together. Inhale, reverse warrior, glide up and over. Exhale, cartwheel down, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, sink your left sits bone down. Exhale, goddess, back bend. Inhale, reach back up for crescent. Exhale, tip forward. Inhale, crescent, lean back. Exhale, chaturanga, great job. We so often strengthen the front of our body. It's important to remember that we got to have strong legs, strong back and shoulders. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, roll up to a standing position. Quick shoulder roll. Firm your low belly. Inhale, single leg mountain. Lift your right knee up. Now, this next moment's gonna be a little funky. Grab a hold of your sits bones with your hands and place your right ankle into your left quad. Exhale, figure four chair. The reason why you're holding onto your sits bones right now, though, is that oftentimes your right hip sinks down too far to make this easier. But once you feel that your sits bones are still in line with each other, bring your hands to your heart option to stay right here or reach your arms up and overhead. Now think about what we did in our Sun B. Option to begin to hinge your chest forward with straight arms. Option now to take this into flying pigeon. Bring your shin in towards your armpit tricep area. Cricket your elbows back to the wall, round your spine, Push your shins into your triceps as much as your tricep is pressing into your shin. Eventually, your left heel will curl up towards your glute. And now imagine I extended my left leg back behind you and you guys are like, oh my god, Elise is so good at yoga. Start to come on up, shake out your body. And we'll do that all again on the other side. So when you are ready, feet together. Hunker down into your heels. Inhale, single leg mountain, left knee up towards the ceiling. Step one, reach back behind you and grab for your sits bones. Step two, figure four, ankle to quad. Begin to lean your booty back as you begin to bend into your right knee. Now, if your hips are staying in line with each other, wonderful. So, step three, hands to heart. Maybe you deepen by reaching your arms up and overhead, keeping your spine relatively flat and your shoulders pulling down. If that reach is feeling stable, you can start to lean your chest further down towards your shins until eventually you'll plant your hands onto the mat to come into flying pigeon. Aim for your ankle to squeeze into your right tricep, push your shins into your triceps, over time, you'll curl your right heel up towards your glute, and over time, you'll extend your right leg back to the wall as you feel your chest tipping forward. And it's okay if you were in the same boat that I am at, where it's just like, yeah, work in progress wherever you're at. Begin to release, shake it out. Great job, everybody. It is not an easy pose. Take a seat and let's stretch out your wrists. Extend your left arm out in front of you. Grab a hold of your fingers to stretch out your wrist and then take it onto the other one, keeping your arms straight. 
And then I like to end with just some wrist rolls. That way it works out some snaps and crackles. You can also wiggle your fingers and that'll help strengthen your forearms as well. When you are ready, come back to a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Push down deep into your right heel. Inhale, single leg mountain. Draw your left knee forward. Arms go up and overhead. Prep for dancer's pose. Grab for your left foot. Aim to grab for the big toe side of it. Flatten your low back. Reach your right arm up. This is technically the pose, but if you'd like to explore, hinge forward, dancer's pose. Tether your glute muscles in tight towards your hip bones. Kick hard into your back hand. Lift your right arm up to a comfortable position. Now option to stay right here. If you would like to play with a floating dancer's variation, keep your left leg here. Bring your hands to your heart. Squeeze your glutes to keep your heel up. Up dog your chest. Inhale, mountain. Gorgeous job, everybody. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Plant your palms. Lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Everyone has a very different reaction to big back bends. So give your body a moment to breathe. And let's set for the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge, push down into your left heel. Inhale, single leg mountain, draw your right knee forward and up to the ceiling. Exhale, dancers prep, reach around with your right hand, grab for the big toe or pinky toe side of your foot. Tilt your pelvic region forward, flatten your low back. On an exhale, hinge forward any amount. Drill the front of your right hip to face the floor. Squeeze your glute in tight. Up dog your chest. Find more control instead of worrying about how deep can you be in this pose. If you would like to play with floating dancers, bring your hands to your heart. Keep kicking your right toes up towards the ceiling. Draw your shoulders together to float your heart even higher. Give it a breath. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Check in with your shoulders. Know that it's okay to skip these at any point. And exhale, downward facing dog. Start to drop down to your knees for a variation of camel. This next pose has a bunch of different names. I love calling it Conjuring Camel though because it makes me feel like I'm in Harry Potter. Take your right hand and place it to your low back. Lift your left arm up and overhead. Breathe in. Exhale, twist your chest over towards the right side of your mat. Push down into your shins. And if you want a little bit more, you can take your right hand more towards your left hip. Aim to keep your hips in line with each other. And if you want even more, stretch your right hand down towards your left heel. But think forward with your hips. Inhale, lift back up. Take a seat. Let's start to take you to the other side. Stand back up onto your knees. This time, bring your left hand towards your low back right side of your low back reach your right arm up and exhale twisted conjuring camel push your hips forward shoulders together rotate your chest over towards the left for extra use your left hand to push your left hip forward at your low back and then maybe your left fingertips reach down towards your right heel proud in your chest give it a breath inhale lift back up Take a seat on your heels. Let's play with full expression of camel pose. Stand up on your knees. This time, tuck your toes underneath you. 
place the heels of your hands to the bony ridge above your low back, checking in that your low spine is flat. Inhale, lift your chin up. Exhale, camel, ustrasana. Lean your hips forward. Lift your ribs up and away from your hips. Possibly start to slide your hands down your legs. Maybe reach back for your heels, but if you feel your hips are leaning back towards your heels, don't worry about holding on to your feet. Focus on keeping your hips pushing forward. Over time, you'll hold your heels and press your feet into the floor. Start to lift yourself back up. Take a seat on your heels. Close your eyes, find some breath. Deep back bends can really affect how your body is reacting. So if you felt a little uncomfortable or nauseous or kind of flush after that, it's really normal. Take some breath and feel free to skip this next pose. Now either lower down your forehead for embryo pose or touch your forehead onto your knees, grab your heels and lift your glutes up for rabbit pose. Either way, allow your back to get a counter stretch from all of those deep back bends that you did. If you were in rabbit, lower your glutes back down everybody start to lift your head take your legs back and step back into your down dog we'll finish out with two sun a's breathe in exhale forward fold to the top of your mat inhale halfway lift your chest exhale fold forward inhale mountain reconnect with your breath as you stand exhale forward fold gather your thumbs down through your heart Inhale, halfway lift, maybe start to close your eyes. Exhale, chaturanga, trusting all the hard work that you've already put into your practice. Breathe in, upward facing. Breathe out, down dog. One more time, breath in. Exhale, forward fold to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, mountain stretch up. Exhale, forward fold. Relax your jaw, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, last, chaturanga, always the option for a huzzah or an amen. Breath in, exhale, down dog. Inhale, kick your right leg up. Exhale, half pigeon prep, right knee towards your right wrist and your right ankle, any amount towards your left wrist, We'll play with a variation of king pigeon. Walk your hands back towards your hips. Option to stay here or begin to curl your left heel up towards your glutes. Reach back with your left hand. Further still, create a mudra of connecting your pointer and your thumb to touch. Lift your right arm up towards the ceiling. Gaze up, squeeze your inner thighs. Push down into your sits bones. Keep all of this length through your torso and very gently begin to release back down for sleeping pigeon. Now, after all of these big back bends, feel free to stay here or like what we did at the very beginning of class to stretch out your low back, you can walk your head and chest up and over towards the top right corner of the room. This might throw your hips a little bit out of alignment, but that's really okay so long as you feel the left side of your low back getting a gentle stretch. And if you did that side body stretch, come back to center and breathe. Your tongue off the roof of your mouth. Feel gravity sink you down a little deeper. When you're 
ready, lift your head, tuck your left toes underneath you. Three leg down dog kick, shake out your right leg. It's any movement that feels good for you. So if that's your leg up, great. If not, don't worry about it. What is right in your body? Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, the prep for half pigeon, left knee towards your left wrist, your left ankle anywhere up towards your right wrist. Walk your hands back towards your hips. Option to stay here or king pigeon variation. Reach back with your right hand, grab for your right foot. For the mudra, connect your pointer and your thumb together. Lift your left arm up. Feel your right heel pulling in towards your glute as much as your right shin is trying to push back to the wall. Open up across your heart, gaze up, take a breath. Gently begin to lower down, support your body as you lower with your hands. And if you did so on the other side, you'll begin to walk your head and chest over towards the top left corner of the room taking any variation with your arms that feels comfortable, but allowing the right side of your low back to get a little bit more of a gentle release. Come back to center and rest easy into your sleeping pigeon. One of my favorite quotes came from a teacher that did not like this pose at all. The pose begins the moment you want out of it. Here's where you remember why you're in class. What will keep you focused. And how your breath is truly the beacon for your peace. And gently start to lift your head back up. Tuck your right toes underneath you. Three leg down dog, lift up your left leg. Shake out, wiggle your hip, your knee, your ankle, whatever feels good for you. Eventually make your way into your down dog. And take a seat onto your knees. Swing your legs around in front of you. Scooch forward towards the top of your mat and extend your left leg out. Interlace your hands across your right shin, pull your knee and thigh in tight towards your chest. Option to stay there or hook your right ankle to your outer left thigh. Further still, curl your left heel in towards your right glute. Inhale, reach your left arm up. And exhale, twisted sage. Take your left elbow across your thigh Draw your shoulder blades in. Roll your right collarbone back to the wall behind you. And with each inhale, find some length into your spine. And your exhale to deepen your twist. You can make a fist with your right hand if that's better for your wrist. And when you are ready, come back to center. Keep your knees on top of each other and exhale for a variation of cow face, just with the legs. Rest your forehead onto your knees or use your hands like a little pillow for your forehead to release onto. If you find having your legs in this position is just feeling a little too intense, you can always widen the distance between your legs and make this more of a crisscross applesauce variation of your legs instead. But relax your shoulders down your back. Allow your spine to round.
Use your hands to begin to lift yourself back up. Place your hands back behind you. Start to switch out your legs. Right leg goes long. Draw your left knee in towards your chest. Option to hook your left ankle to your outer right thigh. And maybe swing your right heel towards your left glute. Inhale, right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, twisted sage. If your wrist is giving you any feedback that it's not happy, make a fist with your left hand instead, pushing your knuckles into the floor. Stay even in both glutes. Aim for your left collarbone to roll back towards the wall behind your shoulders. Inhale, come back to center. Drop your left knee on top of your right. Scoot your heels in close towards your glutes. And exhale, half cow face variation. Lower your forehead down towards your knees. Your hands are still there for you if you would like to place them underneath your forehead. If this is not feeling comfortable, loosen the bind into your legs and make this more of a crisscross position. And this side might surprise you, might feel a little bit tighter, or a little bit more open. But in these slower moments in class, here's where you really get to have a conversation with your body. Bring your hands in front of you and start to lift yourself back up. Unravel your legs. Quick untuck of your glutes. And with your legs together, reach your arms up and overhead. Exhale, seated forward fold, Pashimottanasana. So there's this strange idea that you have to touch your feet in this pose. Nope. So long as you're feeling a deep stretch running along your hamstrings, you're doing just fine. Aim for your rib cage though to pull away from your hips, creating that extra length into your spine. Feel your shoulders dripping down your back. Flex your toes back towards your face. Gravity is your friend here. Keep pushing down. And inhale, lift up, place your hands back by your hips and lift up into a reverse plank position. Dig down into your heels and slowly lower your hips back down. You might need to scooch forward so you have enough room to lower down onto your back. Bring your right knee in towards your chest. Relax your left leg long. Take a breath in. Exhale, supine twist. Drop your right leg heavily towards the left side of the room. Either both arms out to a T shape or use your left hand to gently guide your right leg across your body deeper. And if it feels comfortable, close your eyes. Look towards your right hand. And breathe in, come back to center. I'll switch you out. Give your right leg a squeeze goodbye. And begin to invite your left knee in closer towards your chest. 
exhale, supine twist, melt your left leg over to the right side of the room. Right hand can stay onto your thigh or bring both arms open to a T-shape. With heavy eyes, look to the left. And it's fine if your knee is floating a little bit, if you feel your shoulder floating off the ground. Bones can only move so far. Relax the muscles surrounding your bones. Inhale back to center. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Squeeze yourself into a little ball shape. Take a breath in. Exhale, Shavasana. Take a moment to actually get comfortable. So if this means fixing your hair, fixing your clothes, any wiggles, let them evaporate out of your body. When you have found your comfortable resting position, take an open mouth, exhale. Let your thoughts drift by. Take tension out of your forehead, lips, and jaw. And if need be, one more deep breath in. Exhale, release. Without any rush, begin to deepen your breath. Explore moving your hands and feet. Rock your chin from shoulder to shoulder. And when it feels right, reach your arms up and overhead. And at your own pace, roll to one of your sides. When you are fully ready to come back into the rest of your day, use your hands to start to lift yourself up to a seat. Bring your hands to your heart. 
feeling that you have right now is one that you cultivated, so you can tap into it whenever you would like. Bow forward. Namaste. Oh my god, you guys, so good at yoga. Uh, so good at yoga. Boom, but so good at yoga. Awesome job, everybody. Seriously, thank you so much for taking class. Look, you've worn out waffles. Make sure to check out my website, hotmessyoga.life. That's H-A-W-T, messyoga.life. Share with your friends, share with your family, get a group of people together, come take a class with me. Uh, Cause for reals, he's like, this is like my job. So let me teach to you. And as always, drink lots of water and just be a decent person. Thank you guys, see you soon.